Hello, my name is squad leader Nick Critchell. I am Red 3 with the Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team, the Red Arrows, and this is my second year with the team. Uh, ever since the age of six, uh, I have always wanted to be a fast jet pilot in the Royal Air Force. And having never really thought I could achieve that aim, once I managed to end up flying the Typhoon in the Royal Air Force, I was then eligible to apply to the Red Arrows. So it has always been a dream to end up as a fast jet pilot, but actually the biggest dream so far that's come true is the fact that I became a Red Arrows pilot in 2020. The inspiration for me to join the Red Arrows was during my childhood, actually watching the teamwork and the excellence being portrayed at air displays and meeting the pilots on the ground, uh, which was a fantastic experience and really spurred me on to join the Royal Air Force. The 2021 commemorative is a fantastic piece of memorabilia to remember the team this year, especially by the fact that all our signatures are up next to our specific numbers. The most memorable trip I have done with the Red Arrows so far was my very first fly past as a Royal Air Force Aerobatic Team pilot back in 2020. It was the VE Day 75th celebrations where most of the country was in lockdown. So we flew over the capital where pretty much nobody was on the streets. So actually the images and the videos that came out of that day will always stick in my mind. As a member of Enid, uh, as Red 3, I sit next to the boss. And during the second half of our display, the whole of Enid, so Reds 1 to 5, get to perform a maneuver called rollbacks. This is my most favorite maneuver because uh, we get to roll over the top of our counterparts on each side of uh, the boss uh, and change our smokes as we go through. So it's my favorite maneuver during the second half. So, so far in my Red Arrows career, the most unusual place I've performed has to be in front of the G7 world leaders down in Carbis Bay. This was a fantastic experience and in the most protected airspace in the UK during this time. So to be able to perform a first half display for the most powerful people in the world had to be the most memorable occasion so far. So far in my career, I've flown the Typhoon and the Hawk T2. And my favorite airplane out of those two has to be the Typhoon. The power that the aircraft has and the capabilities we have on the front line using it puts it right up there as one of my favorite airplanes to fly. Over the past 18 months, with the COVID restrictions that have been put in place, the team had to keep our skills up because of the uh, fade that we can have if we don't practice our maneuvers. So during the time that COVID has been around, we have still been able to put COVID restrictions in place at our workplace and still able to fly to make sure that we've always been able to display and conduct fly paths whenever we've been asked to. So during our displays, the whole of the Royal Air Force Aerobatic team try to portray teamwork and excellence that we expect from ourselves and everybody in the military. So anybody that's thinking about becoming a Red Arrows pilot, the idea of working hard at school, working hard throughout your career, but also having that teamwork and excellence in the back of your mind will stand you in good stead to potentially become part of the team in the future.